Good evening, and this is Thai PBS World Daily. The Royal Irrigation Department has issued a new warning of river overflows in 11 provinces located downstream of the Tao Priya Dam in China province after the department decided to increase the discharge rate through the dam from this Thursday. Meanwhile, the Meteorological Department forecasts heavy rain for most parts of Thailand, including Bangkok and its suburbs, until Sunday as a result of a moderate monsoon trough moving over northern, central, eastern and northeastern Thailand towards a low-pressure cell in Cambodia. The Thai cabinet has approved the new minimum wages to become effective from October 1st. The new minimum wage is divided into nine rates, with the maximum rate set at 354 baht per day to a minimum set at 328 baht in accordance with the cost of living in each respective province. The cabinet also decided to extend the excise tax cut of 5 baht per liter of diesel fuel for two more months until November to ease the burden on consumers currently being affected by the high cost of living. They also agreed to maintain the zero excise tax on biodiesel and bunker oil used in generating electricity until March next year. One of Thailand's longest-running embezzlement scandals, which led to the collapse of the Bangkok Bank of Commerce in 1995, concluded yesterday with the Thai Supreme Court upholding the conviction and 335-year imprisonment of Indian-born Rakesh Saxena, a former financial advisor to the bank. He will, however, only serve 20 years behind bars as the maximum term of imprisonment under the Thai Criminal Penal Code is 20 years. The management of a school in Renu Nakhon district of Thailand's northeastern province of Nakhon Phanom has come under fire on social media for converting the soccer field at the school into a golf driving range. The criticism has finally forced the school's director to defend its project while admitting that the management did not seek consent from people in the community for the project. And that's all the top stories for today. You can follow us on social media and our website, thaipbsworld.com, for all the latest updates about Thailand.